Hello everyone. Welcome to our video on how to use Turnitin to check your quotations. In this video, we will show you how you can use Turnitin to check whether your quotations are correct and how you can fix quotations to make them correct. Interpreting Turnitin text matches to quotations is an important step to help you check whether your quotations are correct. To see your text matches, click on the Originality button in the top left of the document. This document has identified some text matches from a few different sources. Looking at the first purple text match, you can see that the match is unbroken and that there are quotation marks around the highlighted words. To check if it is correct, click on the number 3 above the match and it will show you the match to the original source. In this example, the text has matched to the source we used and we can see from this that the quote is exactly the same. We can also see that the student has provided a citation for that quote. Together, this text match and the citation makes this a good quote. Let's look at the second text match in light blue. Now this text match did not match the source we used. You can go into the match breakdown to check if the correct source is identified. In this case, the match breakdown does not include the source we used. However, it is important to notice here that there is a quote in the text saying, have a high risk for certain travel related infections. However, there is no citation. This would be identified by the marker as an instance of poor practice or possibly plagiarism. So it requires a citation to show where the quote came from and it will be best practice here to go back to your original source and double check that your quote is correct. Moving on to the next purple text match, you can see that the highlighted text is broken. The quotation reads, The low numbers for many VPDs hindered the ability to analyse them individually, and a citation is given, but only some of the words that are inside the quotation marks are highlighted. This suggests that there are mistakes in the quotation. When we click on the text match number, you can see what the original source says. As we noted earlier, this source is the actual source that was used, so we can be sure that these words are the ones we want to quote. You can see that the word small should be in place of the word low in this quotation. What you could do at this stage is to open your file to make the corrections. I'm going to do this to correct the mistakes as we go. Next, it looks as though the word our should be in place of the word the. However, since you are not the author of the paper that is quoted, it would sound strange to say our. So you still want to use the word the, but you need to show your reader that you have changed the quote. To do this, you use square brackets around the word the. And here, the word analyzed is spelt with a Z in the source, but an S in the student's work. When quoting, you need to keep the source spelling or indicate if you have changed it using square brackets. In this case, the spell check on Microsoft Word has automatically changed the American version to the Australian spelling of analyze. So we need to change it back to the original spelling. Finally, you'll notice that in the last paragraph there is another quote which Turnitin has not highlighted. This could be for a couple of reasons. Turnitin might not recognize the text or it might be a misquote. In either case, you would need to go back and double check the quote. You'll notice with this one that it is missing a citation. It also has double quotation marks, which is inconsistent with the previous quotes, which used single quotation marks. Your marker would notice problems like this, so it's worthwhile checking each quote, even when Turnitin does not highlight them. Once you have made your corrections to your draft document, you can put it through Turnitin again to check it again. We put the revisions through Turnitin, and here is the new Turnitin originality report. Notice how all the text matches are now correctly matching to the quotes with square brackets to show that the word has been changed in the second purple text match. Notice also that checking and changing the quote in the final paragraph has created a new text match. This is great because it shows that we use the source correctly. In sum, using Turnitin to check and revise your quotes can be very worthwhile and can help to correct your work. Thanks for watching our video. For more information on quoting correctly, check out the rest of the Academic Skills Learning Centre Turnitin Practice Wattle site.